Okay, so today, hi, <laughs> everybody. And um, so today, it's, um, it's kind of a little delicate subject that I'm going to be touching on. It's not delicate for most people, most people all over the world, but there's a whole section of people that it, it, is, it is very, very delicate. And um, I find um, um, a lot of people, I mean, I know it's a little insane for the people who um, do it all the time. They, they like, what? You mean people don't wax? Uh, yeah, there are a whole bunch of people that don't wax. Some for their religious beliefs, some for uh, just their mindset. And, um, and most often people don't want to go to salons and spend money for waxing, which I completely understand. Um, and they keep writing in and asking, ma'am, how do you make wax? Now, there are uh, two kinds of waxes. There's hot wax and there's cold wax. The cold wax is what normal salons use and parlors use. Um, you know, you heat up the wax and you spread it with a knife, uh, you know, along your, your hair growth and then put a strip on top of it, either cloth or a waxing strip and pull it off. But hot wax is something that you don't need strips. You don't need anything. You, you just make it and um, you can spread it. You know, it's normally spread against the hair growth and then you can use the wax itself to strip it off. So it's something that you can make at home and use at home. It's a little delicate because, uh, I mean, not delicate, you've got to just be a little careful because it's it's wax that you're going to make and you have to use your hands a bit and and it's hot. So just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. You know, there's, I have to at this point tell you about one incident that happened many years ago. You know, I um, I actually um, set up when, when Arch the Headlines Today was doing a complete makeover they they roped me in and um, and I cut everybody's hair. I styled them. We set up a little salon inside Ashtak office, and um, so everybody when they went on air, they always looked super stunning. You know, the hair was always in place. Their makeup was absolutely fabulous, and all that. And and then after doing that, the next call, the next uh, television channel I got a call from was MMTV Malayalam Manorama from Kerala. It's the first time that somebody from Kerala had got in touch with me and said. So then they brought me in to, um, to style and to, um, to guide uh, the anchors and the, you know, and, and the reporters on how to wear their hair, how to look, how, all that. And I came in and my first meeting with a whole lot of them. First thing I was like, I'm sorry, you've got to get yourself waxed, you know. You can't have sweat patches under your armpits. You can't, when you are talking, you can't have hairy arms, all that. So then I we I brought on a couple of beauticians from from Delhi and <clears throat> we waxed everybody. And uh, most of them, were, and it's painful, it's not an easy job. And uh, everybody, I have to say, there was not a single girl that was happy with me. Uh, of course, now they all come to the salon and they're like, I'm become a, but uh, at that point of time they were like they didn't like it at all and I remember with one girl I don't even know who it was you know her underarms are waxed and she started howling and I was like endo iti and she's like ayo ma'am endo nashta petta the bole I was like you can't be you have to be joking you can't be serious you know because come on it's it's hey it'll grow back that's one thing if you think you've lost it it's going to come back but if uh, if you're going to take that stance where underarm hair is concerned, it's a sad thing. Now uh, people talk about uh, dark underarms. That happens when you uh, when you shave, when you use uh, hair removing creams, uh, your your underarms will turn dark, and it's so embarrassing and so ugly actually. So waxing is the best bet. And if you don't want to go to a salon, and if you don't want to um, you don't want to um, be public about it. Uh, do it in your own time, in your own space. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate today and show you how to make your own hot wax. So watch carefully and be careful. Okay, so I'm out of the frame, but that's okay. So I've got my induction heat up and, uh, you know, I've got one and a half cups of um, powdered sugar. I've got half a lime. I've got a little bit of water very little bit of water and one spoon of salt all right 
So I actually powdered my sugar because it takes a long time to melt otherwise. So we've got, whoops, there you are. So I'm going to just put this on, on medium, not too hot and empty the sugar in here. can see it right so that's why I'm sitting right here and you know I'm not doing this in the kitchen because my cook is gonna drive me out of there and a little bit of water a little bit of water I put half a nimbu and slightly less than one teaspoon of salt all right Let's do this. Melt it. And this is going to start boiling really fast. And you have to get it to a nice honey brown. So in five to seven minutes, it starts boiling really nice and bubbly. And remember, you have to get it to a nice golden, honey-colored brown. It's a golden brown. It's still white, as you can see it. And keep stirring. Constantly stir. see it's slowly turning golden brown so that and don't put put it on very high heat because then it will just burn and and then you've lost the, the whole deal but um, nice and golden brown is what it's got to get Changing color really fast. And this is good enough. So now what I have here is I've removed it from the fire. And I've got a big bowl of water because we've got to keep dipping our hands in water. I've got this slab of uh, marble. I don't want to use my own table because <laughs> because I did it yesterday and oh my god it took forever to clean up. So this of course I can just take it to the wash basin and clean. So what you do is you have to wet this marble. All right. As you can see, I've got my, can you see that? So it's a beautiful golden brown. And very gently pour it on the marble. Okay, now this sets really fast, okay? So you've got to be careful. Okay, let's get this camera a little bit more to the side. Okay, <clears throat> I've got my little, whatever the cake thingy, and start pushing the, this has to happen, okay? Because it starts cooling really, really fast. So I'm pushing towards the center. If you don't, then it just hardens up and then it becomes really difficult. cooling it's 
hardening and cooling and hardening and cooling. So you try to get everything into the center of it. And please don't touch it with your hands at this point of time because it's really, really hot right now. Yeah, you burn yourself. We don't want that happening. Yeah, as you can see, this is kind of a messy affair. That's why most people don't do this at home. They go to the salons and do it. But also, please don't do this on wood because you'll never be able to do this, what, what I'm doing right now. And a piece of marble is good. Yeah, you try to get it into like a toffee kind of a situation. Okay, so dip your hands in. Make sure your hands are wet. And you can actually just push it down. If your hands are not wet, it's going to stick to your hands, okay? It's come to a situation where you can pull it out with your hands. So both your hands are wet. It's a little hot. It's not too hot though. Start molding it with your hands. Let's get everything out. Keep dipping your hands in water so you don't feel the heat too much. It's not that hot actually. And start molding it. Pull it. It's like toffee. You have to get it into while the more you mold it the lighter it starts turning you know from dark honey golden brown to much lighter so when it starts sticking dip your hands again so we've molded it and molded it till it comes to this consistency and this color like a beautiful golden color yeah and then you can take whatever little bit that you want and use it as in spread it over your hand and use it just that as a wax but well, i don't have hair on my hands so i can't show it to you but the rest of it after you use it you can just take it and put it in a plastic bag i use a ziploc stick it in your fridge and every time you want it you just take it out and um Stick it in the microwave for like 10 or 15, 13 minutes max and then take it and start molding it again and you can take a little bit out and you can use it again on your underarms, on your hands, your legs. It's pretty safe and it's very, very natural stuff that we've used. We've used no chemicals whatsoever. So you've learned how to use your, I mean, make your own wax. The thing is, what I want you to know is even the, the wax, before we start, if you don't want to make it into this, this consistency and if you do have strips and if you, you can make do with all that, then I suggest you take it, pour it into a, you know, a heat resistant container and keep it aside. And every time you want to use it, dip it into a bowl of hot water. When it melts, take a little uh, a, a, a knife and use it on your hands. When it's, I mean, you have to be careful about the heat. Put a waxing strip and strip it off. So that's how you make your own wax. Whee! Yeah, that was, that was something else. This one you can actually store and use it yet again. And enjoy, make your own wax and stay clean and healthy. And it's actually, um, you know, it's very much part of your grooming that you stay hair free on your uh, arms and underarms and legs. Take care, have fun.